What's going on, guys? Antonio here. Do me a favor, hit that thumbs up for me, and let's get into it. All right, so I got to give it up to my man, Shamar Moore. Uh, this man has pulled the racial finesse of the century. And what am I talking about? We're on the Hollywood Reporter here, and uh, they've got this article up. Uh, that uncanceled again, SWAT defies death with surprise season eight renewal at CBS after being canceled, then uncanceled, then producing what was billed as its final season. CBS's SWAT is getting yet another no new lease on life. The network has put, picked up an eighth season of the crime drama starring Shamar Moore. The decision to continue the series, a co-production of Sony Pictures Television and CBS Studios, comes as a surprise. CBS had billed this season of SWAT as its final one. After negotiations with Sony over licensing fees and a reduced schedule episode order, as recently as Monday, when CBS sent out its season finale dates, it was billing the May 17th episode of SWAT as the series finale. Wow. Okay. So, okay. So what I just read, but long short of it, what was it, two years ago, the ratings for SWAT, they were in their sixth season. The ratings had dipped and Sony was wanting more money from CBS because they had like majority ownership of the show. Uh, obviously CBS, like the, the article just said they have, they own a piece of the show, but they don't own as much as Sony and Sony was getting a, a huge chunk of the money. And CBS is like, the ratings are down. This show is expensive for us to produce. Um, and you guys don't want to, you know, if you guys can, come to the table and renegotiate, i.e. they want Sony to give them a, a little more money, uh, you know, so maybe so they have to pay less to produce the show. Uh, you know, and Sony was like, nah, we 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 good, man. We we happy with the deal we originally signed with you guys. We're not going to give you all the money back. We're going to keep it. Uh, we appreciate y'all, though. And so CBS was like, OK, um, this sixth episode, this sixth, sixth season, we're going to cancel the show. Shamar Moore, he did some interviews. He did some stuff and he, he played the racial card and I have to respect it because it, it worked. Um, he said, it's very telling, you know, that CBS is canceling its only show with a black lead and all this, you know, that kind of thing. I don't think Equalizer had aired at that time or, uh, you know, Queen Lativa show uh, Equalizer. But, you know, he mentioned that, you know, it was the only CBS show with a, with a black male lead, which I was sitting there going, they didn't cancel it for any racial reasons. They canceled it because the you can look... You can look up the ratings online. I mean, so like I said, I won't, you know, I'm always talking about I want black people to act and be able to get opportunities the same as any other race, right? But they didn't can't, the, the ratings started to dip. Some of my favorite shows, they had started to dip. And then I've noticed when I go back and watch those shows, like on the streaming service, and it gets towards the end, I go, oh, okay, they had, it. you start getting in, he's like, oh, they, had, they started to run out of ideas. I, I, as sad as I was that they canceled the show, I understand. But SWAT had started to decline, and it was expensive. So it had nothing to do with racial stuff. But CBS, it started to go around, and, and some of the, more liberal press was picking, picking this up. It's like, Hey, you know, there, we do have a diversity problem in Hollywood and there, and there are so many shows. There's, there's so few shows on TV with black male lead actors and blah, blah, blah. And CBS was like, I, uh, I tell you what, we're going to bring you back for another season, but that's it. One more season. You get it. And so that's what they did. Shamar, Shamar was happy. He get, you know, he got another full season picked up. He got a check and so he was straight. And so we were going into it 
knowing that this was the show's about to wrap up in a few weeks. Obviously, as you see this article, it is not about to wrap up. He's about to get another check. And I mean, he making, he got to be making 150, 200,000 a week on these episodes. Um, I mean, some of these actors on TV, if you got a hit show, if you got a hit show, uh, like an ensemble drama, these guys be making three, four, five hundred thousand. Uh, you know, on the rare case, you hear some people are making seven, eight hundred a million, uh, like on some of the sitcoms and stuff like that. Some of these, um, like towards the end of Seinfeld and Friends, some of those would, if you're getting those type of ratings, you're going to be making, you know, several hundred thousand, maybe a million an episode. But, uh, I don't think Shamar Moore, Shamar Moore wasn't getting no, you know, he wasn't getting a, a you know, a million an episode, but I, you know, he's the lead on a network television show. So he's got to be making at least $150,000, $200,000 per episode. So a 22 episode pickup, he about to make him another couple million dollars. So uh, I, I tip my hat to that, brother. Uh, but uh, what do you guys think? SWAT is coming back for another season after it's been canceled twice. <laughs> uh, but uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Instagram. I'm on X. I'm on threads all at Akari Press. And if you type in AkariPress.com, it will take you to my comic book brand, Way of the Gun. The link to my gum road is in the description as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm out.